Hello, um, my name is Chris from HS Airsoft. I am currently the owner, um, CEO and head tech of HS Airsoft. Um, first off, I would like to say thank you to all the supporters. Uh, we've had a really big spike in social media um, because of our promoter. Um, I would like to thank our promoter for helping me out as much as he has done. Um, and I also like to thank you guys for checking out this video. Now, today this video is not only going to be on this gear set, but it's also going to be on ZCI um, and a little bit of rant of SHS. Right here, this is a 1601 ZCI gear set. Do not mind the packaging. Um, the packaging is just from the from the wholesaler that I get it from, from the distributor that I get it from. They just uh, use their own packaging, but I can assure you this is a ZCI gear set. Um, now, going back to ZCI. ZCI is a aftermarket airsoft um, upgrade parts company. They sell a lot of high quality parts such as motors, um, gears, cylinders, cylinder heads, um, pistons, and piston heads and air nozzles. Um, the one thing I can appreciate about ZCI is, is that with all the products that they make, they haven't lost any quality control as far as I know from all the gear sets and all the other products that I've encountered with ZCI, that their quality control is outstanding. And I am pretty sure that ZCI gears and products are made in a different factory from SHS, which is a good thing because if they were made in the same factory, they would have the same quality control because they would all be quality controlled by the same people. But ZCI is um, manufactured from different uh, factory. So this is this is what it's going to come with when you order one of these gears. Um, you're going to get a spur gear, a 16-1 spur gear, or depending on what gear set you get. This right here is a 16-1 uh, gear, spur gear. As you can see, it's crafted beautifully you can't even tell where the CNC machine hit it except on right here on the where the sector gear um, picks it up but other than that it's a beautiful gear set let me see let me get the lighting in here better there you go beautiful gear the posts are friction fitted in which is great I love that so you can see 1601 don't mind the RTV it should doesn't that's not what it's supposed to say that's just made by the that's just made by the company that um rebrands these um but this is a zci gear set like i said next you have the most important or the most fragile part of these gear sets this right here is a zci bevel gear um the reason i say fragile gear is because in every gear set the bevel gear is the most important and the most um it's the most important gear but it also is the gear that takes the most beating because you the this gear is doing two jobs it's taking the force of the motor and it's also taking the force of the spring because it has to move the sector gear back so it's a lot of uh, a lot of pressure on this one gear here um this is the gear that in most um gun builds that tech have this is the gear that breaks the most often here and there you'll get a spur and a sector gear failure but it's most of the time it's this gear here it's the bevel gear um i love this gear um i love the zci gears in general because they have six notches for the for the um anti-reversal latch as you can see one two three four five six so they have six it's great it's fantastic i love it um i love the i love the fact that they have six because for people that use BTCs, uh, Spectres, and Chimeras, um, having more notches for the anti-reversal latch means a more consistent pre-cocking if you use pre-cocking, which I do. So it's a more consistent pre-cocking um, than it would be on like uh, a four latch, um, a f uh, that, uh, that, a, that a bevel gear that only has four latches. Um, the, ge the, the thickness on these teeth right here for that, that engages the the spur are pretty thick. Um, I have my micrometer here so I can actually tell you what it is that sets this to zero. As you can see, let's see, setting it to zero, which it's all the way back. And we're going to put it in between one of these gears. 
Now I'm putting all my force on it, and right now it's at 118, 119. Um, I might have to flip the video here because I'm backwards. But as you can see, I am putting force on the actual tooth itself, not anywhere else. So it's at, let's see, let me put more pressure on it. There you go, it's at a steady 113. Um, which is pretty thick um, for these gears. Um, I, I understand that the the newer, even the newer SHS ones are at 110 or 105. Um, so these gears are great. These DCI gears are phenomenal. Next, moving on, we have the sector gear, which is one of the most important gears as well at before after the bevel. I mean, um, there's a lot of things I love about these sector gears made by ZCI. The most um, that I feel is the best thing about these ZCI gears is that. In SHS gears, these metal posts right here, these are screws. There's one. There's usually one on this side, one on this side, and then you have the post for the tab plate. The problem with that is the screws, with a lot of vibration and a lot of, uh, I say heat, they tend to unscrew themselves, which causes a problem because the teeth, these teeth right here begin to separate. And that can cause failures in the spur or the sector gear, which is bad because then you have to buy a new gear set. Excuse me. But these, this is a post right here. This The, the, the post for the type of plate is one post that goes through and it also goes through these te um, the teeth right here at the bottom. What I like about this is that they're friction fitted. What does that mean? Basically, they pressed, there's, there's little teeth um, going through, uh, going through the teeth down here through the whole um, actual sector. So what it is what they do is they get the post, and on the post itself it also has teeth. So what so what they do is they get kind of like a, a wrench, or I don't know what kind of tool they use over there, but they basically just press the post in. They press this post in, and also this one. And the, the teeth kind of grind against each other, so like they basically lock themselves into place, which I think it's a better system than the SHS system, which is the screws. In my opinion, the screws can come unscrewed. These posts right here come out. Let's say if you get a freaking wrench and you stick it in there, or a freaking flathead and you stick it in there and you try to separate it, even with that, it won't separate. I guarantee it. Um, that's what I love about these posts. With those that... Um, SHS gears, which I also I have one right here. These screws really I have seen a lot of text um, post a lot of things about these screws becoming unloose, and I've actually had this in particular sector the screws come loose. Not all the way where the meshing was or the shimming was bad or it was getting worse, but it got to the point where I heard the difference in sound, and I immediately stopped shooting the gun and I went to check it out. And these teeth right here were about I can actually probably stick this prong. In between the top part of the sector and the bottom part of the sector which is kind of sad especially if we're paying twenty dollars for a high quality gear set so in my opinion this is the better product right here um if there's anything else i can say about zci in general um i love their products they have great quality control um and, and i think as a company shs should stay away from um i'm sorry as a company HS Airsoft should stay away from SHS products because this company is all about making the buyer happy and also giving the buyer high quality parts. I'm not going to sell a product that has failed numerous amount of times while there's still a product on the market that hasn't failed but it's still at the same price point. In my opinion, um, people overlook ZCI a lot um, but me personally, I love ZCI gears. Um, haven't had a problem since I've used them. Um, in another video, I'll show you my personal gun that has a set of ZCI gears in it that works perfectly fine. Has it broke on, broken on me? Um, I've gone to numerous events, um, most of them events, and I've used it and no problems whatsoever. Um, so with that being said, guys, um, I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.